Uh, today we discuss uh, uh, difficult intuition, uh, how to manage with uh, glidoscope or video laryngoscope. Uh, if this table like a patient and this is uh, considered like the tongue and this tube is considered like a larynx. In this view, as you can see, that you can see the, the larynx here, but the larynx is high. So the camera here is looking anteriorly. And in spite, however, when you part the tube, it does not take the same curve. And usually you cannot insert the tube toward the larynx, especially when the case of this is a high larynx. Whatever you push the tube, and you cannot, this is the maximum space you have, usually the, the tube go outside the larynx. So in this case of high larynx, we need some uh, uh, an instrument to help us to uh, do this intubation. Stylet. The stylet have an idea that it's the curve. Whenever you push the stylet out, the tip of the tube go high. So as you can see, I can move the tip and I can adjust the tip at the height I want. But the problem of this technique that's inside the body or inside the pharynx, you don't have the space so this mechanism doesn't work efficiently and usually you don't get a success with the stylet movement. As you can see, I, outside the body I can adjust the tip height as much as I need because I have a space here. But when you put it inside, inside the body, when the tip is moving, but you cannot get the height. Uh, one note of the stylet, the stylet can you, you can use it to guide the tip of the tube right or left. So if you move it from up right or left, you can adjust the tape according to the situation. So this will help you a lot. But the point here, the stylet needs a third hand. So usually the anesthesia doctor uh, use a glide screw with the left hand and the tube with the right hand. And the assistant, he's the one moving the, the, uh, the stylet up and down, right and left, to adjust the tape to the uh, larynx. So you need a third hand during intubation using the stylet. The, the problem with Bougie is that this angle is fixed and you cannot change it. So if the angle is not enough, you will not go inside the trachea. You can increase the angle by making a curve. You curve it. But this is not usually stable while inserting inside the body. So you push the tube and here you can see that you cannot adjust this angle anymore. Although the Bougie success rate is better than the stylet, but still you cannot guarantee in all cases of difficult intubation. The third technique, which is, I think it's the most uh, suitable or most successful technique, is to add the fiber optic. This technique, we don't use the screen or the camera of the fiber optic. We use it just as a guide wire or the guide for the tube. So I use the tip and here as a guide, so we can adjust the tip. And this advantage, you will not find it in the bougie or in the in the stylet. So look inside here in the camera. Crack is away my camera. As we go inside, as this is a fiber optic here. Then, as you see, that's very really tip, it's very really high. Then we adjust it and we go inside the tube, as you can see, and we advance. Better view, as you can see, I can adjust the tip and advance it, advance it, advance it, then re, then we can insert. Okay, uh, the fiber optic uh, with advantage is almost giving about 100% success rate in high larynx. It also has some advantages, very important advantage. Like first, it's the shortening the uh, intubation time. And so for the apnea time is also become this. And this is very important, especially in obese, because most of patients with high larynx are morbid obese. And if these patients the high oxygen consumption make them desaturate very rapidly. So this is very important point to decrease the apnea time when you use the uh, uh, fiber optic, to add fiber optic to the uh, video laryngoscope. Uh, another advantage of the, uh, uh, adding the fiber optic to video range scope is that you can do intubation in different positions, not only in supine, you can do intubation in, uh, in, uh, in lateral position, in prone position. So in some cases, when you have to intubate in such, uh, such a position, this will help you, when you add it to the uh, video range scope, it will help you so much. The assistant look to the camera of the, uh, of the screen of the video range scope, so we don't need this uh, uh, attachment or the uh, light source, it's not needed. Uh, you can connect suction if you, if there's secretion, if you find secretion when you do expose the larynx and you find secretion, you can connect suction or you can replace it by auction. So one of the points of fiber optic also you need the three hands. So uh, one for the uh, holding the uh, glide scope and one for advancing 
the shaft of the, uh, the fiber optic and one hand to adjust the, the tip to, con to adjust the ruler, I'm sorry, the controller or the lever of the, of the tip. So you need three hands. Uh, I tried many times with my assistant, so my assistant would do which part of this, and I find that the best assistant assistant to use to adjust the tube, adjust the dips, and uh, I advance, I hold the, the ranger scope and I advance the fiber optic, then the assistant make it up or down uh, based on what he see in the glidoscope camera. Note that if you try to advance the knee, the, scene, the, the tube, while the, the tip is kinked, the tube will not pass. So before advancing the tube, you must be sure that this lever make a straight alignment so that you can easily pass and go out. But if the tube of the, of the, of the tip is either in this direction, this direction, the tube will not pass. So be sure that this tip is straight and you can adjust it from here as everybody knows. Uh, after the, the uh, fiber optic pass through the vocal cord, you raise your hand up so you simplify the bias of the tube. It will be لا افرد 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 لف لف ايوه اطلع فوق انزل بقى تحت بس انزل تحت انزل تحت يلا بس يلا تحت خش بقى يلا حط على جوجل اطلع انت فوق ارفع ارفع بتاع ارفع بتاع بتاع اوكي يا بنت الذين افرد 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 اف